Christmas came early because today we'll be installing our new Red Sea Reefer 250. Okay, so it's time to set this bad boy up. The first thing we'll want to do is to make sure the stand is level. And it looks like we are right on the money. Red Sea recommends that you set this tank a minimum of four inches from the wall just in case you need to get any outlets out or any of your devices. The reefer includes the following main components. Glass aquarium, cabinet, glass sump including bubble, trap, sponge, 400 micron filter bags, and float valve for automatic top up, internal piping kit and outlet nozzle, and a top up reservoir. Okay, we'll want to first start with the surface skimmer slash overflow box. We have three pipes to install, the outlet, the silent flow down pipe, and the secondary overflow bypass pipe. No special tools are needed, you just twist each pipe into place. You will then install an external pipe with a clear upper section over the main down pipe to ensure positive water motion throughout the entire height of the overflow box. Now we will put the flow nozzle in place. Let's now move on to the sump area. We will first install the pipe with the fine adjustment flow valve. The flow valve enables the water in the overflow box to be maintained ensuring positive surface skimming and at the same time eliminating noise as water flows to the sump. We then hook up the secondary overflow bypass pipe. Both the main down pipe and secondary overflow bypass enter a compact reception chamber in the sump. Before we install the third hose, which goes from the pump to the return outlet, we should first connect the pump to it. You guys said you'd like us to try a DC pump on the tank, so we decided to use the controllable deep water BLDC5, which can produce an impressive flow of 1400 gallons per hour. Here are the recommended flow rates for return pumps for each of the reefer tanks. Because the BLDC pump is controllable, we can adjust the flow rate to the tank's needs. Now that the pump is installed, we can connect the hose to the return outlet. Next up is the reservoir, which will feed the auto top off system when we experience any water loss due to evaporation. Even better, the system is gravity fed. Last but not least, we have the 400 micron filters, which are super easy to maintain. And that's it, we're done. I will put the top back on the overflow box, give the glass a little cleaning, and we will see you guys next week when we start to install the equipment. 